In one of my previous video, I talked about how you can create a distributed logical router in your NSX environment. In this video, what I will be demonstrating how you can deploy a edge router in your environment. Edge router is basically used to provide a lot of services. A lot of services, you can have a VPN configured, you can have a uh, DSCP configured using it on it, you can have the load balancer, you can have it DNS as well as uh, you can configure uh, the routing protocols. In this video, what I will be doing, I have an internal network which is uh, uh, which is completely internal and not able to communicate outside, and I will be conf configuring my uh, logical distributed distributed logical router and connecting to the edge gateway so that my internal network can communicate to the outside world. So let's get started and get a NSX, uh, NSX edge gateway router configured here. So in network and security, go to NSX edge. And click on plus sign to create a new edge gateway router select the edge services gateway and give the name to it you can choose the same name if you want to configure hierarchy you can do it now provide the password if in case if you want to provide the enable SSH or fifth mode on it you can do it now or you can do it later on as well this is a place where you have to choose the size of the appliance because we have we are going to deploy a edge gateway router uh, appliance here. Yeah. So what you have to do, you have to choose a size. The size depends on the amount of traffic it is flowing processing. In my lab, I don't have much traffic, so I will choose the compact so that it will not consume a lot of resources in my lab environment. So click on the plus sign and choose a place where you want to get it deployed. I kept no reservation for it. You have to create one interface. So I am creating an uplink at this time at the, the internal links I will be creating later on once I have this uh, edge gateway router deployed. Give the IP address of to the edge router and you can configure the default gateway at this time or you can do it later on. It's completely on you. You can configure the fireball policy now or later on. And once deployed, let's go ahead and create one more interface which will be used to connect to my internal network or I will see the distributed logical router. Choose the VXLAN and give the IP address to it. This IP address will be the gateway for my logical distributed router now let's go ahead and create a new logical router choose logical router give its name You can choose the SSH and the FIPS mode here. The location where you want to host this logical router. You can configure the logical interfaces later on. So it's deploying now, publishing, done. So now let's go ahead and create the logical interfaces. I will be creating two logical interfaces. What One will be the uplink and uh, which will be connecting to my edge router. The other which will be connecting to my internal network. So choose the uplink and this will be the interface which will be connecting to the edge gateway router. Give the name for the edge router we have given 10.0.0.1 for this one we have given 10.0.0.2 now let's go ahead and connect a, a vxlan to it and this is this will be the default gateway for my vms running connected to this vxlan now let's go ahead and verify the communication 
let's log into the VM and this is one of the VM which is connected to VXLAN 1 with an IP address of 192.162.2 let's try to ping the default gateway for this virtual machine which is a log internal logical interface for the uh, logical router we are able to communicate to the default gateway the other interface yes we are able to communicate let's try to ping the next hop which is my edge gateway router no we are not able to ping now we need to do some more configuration here so let's go ahead and do the configuration on our edge gateway and the logical routers the first thing we need to do is to define the default gateway on our distributed logical router so let's go ahead and do it now uh, choose the DLR click on manage tab routing choose global configuration click on edit and choose the interface which is connected to my edge gateway router the gateway IP which is the internal IP address of my edge gateway publish the changes and let's see whether we are able to communicate or not no we are still not able to communicate now my distributed logical router know where to send the packet if in case they receive any data from the virtual machines connected to it but my edge gateway don't have any such information to provide such information onto the edge gateway what there are two steps and there are two ways to it one we can have the dynamic routing protocols configured on it the other thing what we can do is to create the static routes at this point of time I'm not going to configure any kind of dynamic routing protocols but I will what I will be doing I will be creating a static route so that my edge gateway know where to reply to the packets once they receive from those virtual machines so let's go ahead and create it let's go to NSX edge choose the edge gateway router go to manage routing static routes click on the plus sign and Type in the network for which you want to create the static route. The next stop for this one and publish the changes. So now let's see whether we are able to communicate now or not. No, we are not able to communicate to my edge router. The next thing which might be blocking the communication is the firewalls, which is by default enabled on distributed logical router and the edge gateway. You can create the firewall rules to make the communication possible in this demonstration what I will do I will just simply disable the firewalls so that uh, the communication can take place on both the edge gateway as well as on the logical router so let's go ahead and configure disable the firewall let's go to edge gateway first firewall stop the firewall publish the changes now do the same configuration on the distributed logical router stop publish changes now let's yes we are able to communicate now now let's see if we can communicate to the applic interface of the edge gateway yes we are we can we are able to communicate in this video what we have covered the process to deploy a edge gateway router in your NSX environment and how you can uh, connect your logical router to your edge gateway. Hope this will be informative for you. Thanks for watching this video.